Hello, this is Dr. David York. The surgery's closed at the moment, but if you'd like to leave a message, I'll get back to you. David, I am... Um... Hey, baby. Did you work all night? Yeah. Oh, don't kill yourself, it's the hurry. Well, you know, I want to get it done. I'm on a roll. No one expects it. It's not as if we've even set an opening date yet. Saturday. What? Mm-hmm. It's two days. No, I could murder a frail. <laughs> Sure, but go shower. You stink. Is there a problem, Timothy? You're talking about launching an HIV stabilizer onto the African market. Now, my results prove beyond any reasonable doubt that there are serious carcinogenic side effects involved. And the increase in patient's life expectancy for future chem outweighs the risk. This is wrong. This is, this is just about profit for you people. I'm not going to lie for future chem. If you don't withdraw the product, then I will have no alternative but to go public with this. Then you'll suffer the consequences. Your problem, David, you see everything in moral absolutes. You're running late this morning. You should be on your way by now. Do you think the Futurecom shareholders ever care about what they should do? Looks like another unusually mild day. Strange not to have a frost at this time of year. they give it a second thought. No, that burden falls to me. Tea? I'm always caring about what I should do. And is this my reward? Getting up here every day. Always the same routine, always the same clothes, the same view. Same food. You should eat it up before it gets cold. Scrambled. Your favourite. As a hush descends around this 18th green, this pot, 
to totally hump Tiger Woods and the rest of the garishly dressed American team. He sends it on its way. Who is there? And the crowd are shouting his name. What a joker he is when they get the medication right. <laughs> hey, it's good, this. Where'd you get it? Tom. See, that's the beauty of golf. Don't have to be on the green to be constantly improving. Oh, is that you talking or uh, Tom? Both and neither. Well, you must be getting quite good now, eh? I'd love to come and see you. I'll bring your mum. She'll enjoy it. Later on today? Yeah. Whatever. What are you doing? Decluttering. <laughs> yeah, cos uh, some of that stuff, it's at least two weeks old, isn't it? <laughs> Dad. Why are you here? Um, no reason. I'll put that outside for you, eh? Hey? straight answer. Why, why did you call me a fucking bitch yesterday? You know exactly what you did and why you did it. No, I don't. I don't know what it is that you're talking about. You lent Abigail your dress, which is a lovely thought. And then you told her to get me to call her Evelyn when we were having sex. What? Which was not so lovely. Is that what she told you? She's lying. Look, maybe... We should all just stay away from each other from now on. See? This is it. This is what happens. I tell the truth and I get punished. I'm not punishing you. I, j I just think that it would be for the best. I thought you were my friend. I thought you were going to make this place bearable for me, but... I was happy, Evelyn. I was really happy. I took the job at Future Camp because I wanted to make a difference. To relieve suffering. Save lives. I know that probably makes me seem like a naive fool in your eyes. Some kind of stupid sap. David, I don't know what it is that you're talking about. I'm talking about the consequences of doing the right thing. The boring, joyless, shitty consequences. My life reduced to, well, this. I should go. Yeah, you really should go. But do you know what I should do? I should stop caring about what's right. Because maybe, Evelyn, right is wrong. And wrong is right. I want what I'm owed, Evelyn. Good morning, Evelyn. Good morning, Abigail. 
I was just passing and thought I would pop in to find out exactly what you think you're playing at. I'm sorry. It's probably nothing. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you didn't mean to tell your husband to call you Evelyn during sex, or that I put you up to it. I mean, why would you do something like that, Abigail? God, what goes on in your mind? You're sick and you need help. It's you. Of course it is. What? You're that patient. The one he's protecting, the one he's lying for. This secret that you and David are holding, it must be something really terrible. I can see it's worrying you. But please, you have to consider David. This secret of yours is torturing him. It's eating him up inside, and no offence, but I really wish you hadn't come into our lives, Evelyn. I feel exactly the same way, Abigail, so let's make a deal. I'll stay away from you and your husband, and you two stay the fuck away from me! Stunt required. Mark, you know why I can't do this. It's not because I don't like it. it it's just. I'm sorry. impressive, right? Yeah. No, I can see why Zoe would get uh, seduced by this. You know, a nice, challenging dog leg. No, it's good for her. You know, to have something to get involved in, help her settle in. It's important, Danny. Stay level par. Exactly. You know, I think we're finally all starting to feel at home here. You were the first resident of Meadowlands, weren't you, Tom? Mm-hmm. Happy days. You must have seen a lot of people come and go? Well, I mean, come, because they don't go, do they? <laughs> has anyone ever failed to settle in? Just the ones. What, did they, uh... Did they actually leave, or...? You know, these are my favorite days. Clear sky, a freshly mown furway, and the sweet anticipation of a robust 18 hole. Some who left. What happened? Come on. I'll show you the putting greens. It's not the fact he plays off scratch. It's not the sensitivity of his short game. It's his swing. Balance, equilibrium, and the effortless power he generates through the club head. But he's putting. You know what they say? Drive for show, putt for dough. You take the piss, though. She take the piss. Don't knock it till you've tried it, Mum. Woo! Come on! <laughs> hey, isn't this brilliant? I had no idea whacking a ball with a stick for no apparent reason could be so much fun. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just playing some golf. Are you trying to scare me in front of my family? Family? Oh, yeah, that thing based on deceit and lies. What is it that you want? I want what I deserve. Sex with me, Emma. But I tell that the truth. Stay away from me. You're out of your mind. It's going to happen. I shouldn't fight. Deluded. If you think for oh, God, if it came to anybody, you... what? Tell Danny everything. Okay. Come on, let's go. You may be lucky. You might see beyond it. Ah, uh, your kids won't though, will they? Think how much they'll hate you. Oh. No, I didn't think so. 
It's a notion of family. It's damaged, but it is the one thing that keeps you from defeat. <laughs> See that? So, Evelyn, do we have a deal? You lend me the CD and uh, I'll burn a copy. Come on, I'll show you how it's done, eh? Look, just grab over there. Uh, the woman in the shop? Don't know her. Shag? No, we can't go on holiday anyway. Well, that leaves marriage then? You two are so boring. The game is over, there's nobody left. That is? Winter skill? Shag? Go on holiday or marry? Slit my own throat. <laughs> what about Jezebel? Exempt. No, go on, Marky. All free. <laughs> oh, bless. Hello, my sweet. You left morning surgery today. Ah, oh, your satellite tracking system back online, is it? She was here. Your friend, Evelyn. There's something really manipulative about that woman. She accused me of... Stop this. She says this, you say that. Well, someone's lying. One of you's lying. I, I, I don't know who. Maybe you're both lying. I don't care. I just want it to stop. Well, it is going to stop. We will have no contact with her, and she will have no contact with us. We agreed that, Evelyn and I. And I really think it's best for everyone. Abigail, I don't give a shit. I've wasted my whole life worrying about what's best for everyone. It's not about what's best for everyone anymore. It's about what's best for me. Oh, what can I do for you, David? Call me... Dave. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Dave? Hey, do you fancy a brew? In a bar. Bar? Um... Yeah, OK. Well, christen it, shall we? Everyone should be naughty once in a while. <laughs> In fact, I prescribe it. I'm even playing truant myself right now. Well, what happens if someone gets ill, eh? In Meadowlands? No, but, uh, what would you do, though? Uh, I'd treat them. No, but, I mean, seriously, you know, like uh, an operation or something. It's never happened. If it did, I'd. What? What would you do? Go on, you can tell me. Ah, my fault. I made him christen the place. <laughs> Sorry, it was doctor's orders. studies show, as demonstrated by this series of modular flowcharts, that part of her is yours for the taking. 
The evidence is clear, speaks for itself. Dinner parties, lakeside banter, stolen glances. Rarely has a subject appeared so receptive to outside interest. And just now, using the seedless husband to make you jealous. Textbook. In my role as traffic cop, I know a green light when I see one. It's time for you to state your claim. And after all, what else is going to really set you free? Seychelles, all those beaches and the houses on the little sticks right by the sea where you can drink cocktails. I don't like sand. Morgie, it's a fantasy. And what would our wedding be like? Um, you'd... You'd be... <laughs> you'd be... The most beautiful bride you've ever seen. Yeah. Well, that's the marriage and the holiday bit sorted. There's only one thing left. Are you kids? I hope Mum's just a holiday. That would be a weekend in Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Brenda, take a seat. I'm all ears. I just need a repeat prescription. No problem. That all? Well, I was wondering uh, <clears throat> if you could do me one for some type of um, contraception. Brenda. It's not what you think. I have flare ups of adult acne, and I've read it's good for the skin. But you have the complexion of a peach. Is it any wonder that a man should find you desirable? I told you, it's for me skin. Mm-hmm. There's no need to be embarrassed. There is. He's... I mean... Oh, it's tricky. Matters of the heart, Brenda. Always are. I'm not sure how I feel. One minute I think, why not? The next I'm like, no! <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Oh, I'm not. It's... Look, Brenda, if this sexual adventure is such an exciting one, why not just... Do you know? Whatever, Dr York. Just give me my pills. And don't worry. You're protected by the sanctity of my position as secret keeper of Meadowlands. Turn graffiti artist. Oh, uh, yeah, some joker, Keith McCall. Want me to fill out a crime report? Yeah, it gives you something to do. <laughs> Wrong colour, though, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the uh, black's the new red, apparently.
get away from my house. Oh, hi. Uh, listen, um, I'm really looking forward to this evening, but I realised that after all the fun and games at the golf club that we never actually confirmed plans. Uh, obviously, you can't come around to my place, and I thought me coming here, well, that's not ideal, so... You know, David, I really want you to know I that this want, is... I want, I want to have sex with you. <laughs> I want a part of something I've worked so very hard to protect. Just once. That's all. Does she make you dress up like him? Probably not, because the difference is Abigail actually fucked Jack Donnelly, and it wasn't just the once. More lie. Well, why don't you ask her? And how does that change things? Tonight, at the surgery, 7.30. Please try to be punctual. Will there ever be a day when I turn around and you're not there? No. Doesn't bother most people. Well, unless they've got something to hide. Everybody has, haven't they? Isn't that the point? Even you? I've got a job to do. Have my work cut out today, mind. <laughs> Your car vandalised? Apparently. <laughs> Money missing from the shop? I doubt you had anything to do with that. No need, what with all the cash you took out today. Yeah, you know, give me your life for five minutes where all I do is doss around watching people. Yeah, what you consistently fail to recognise, Danny, is that there's me... ...and then there's you. But the family broken think they're above all that, don't they? You'll learn. Eventually. Not like you're going anywhere, is it? Of course, some residents never do learn. Take your bar, for instance. It was going to be a restaurant. Really? Yeah. Family man, uh, not dissimilar to yourself. Is he the guy who left? We, uh. We clashed badly over his choice of menu. Up, but you know me, useless. You're also organised when it comes to house maintenance. But for a relatively new property, it's amazing how many gremlins we've had. I don't know how we'll manage without Jack Donnelly at the end of the floor. I've bought a bottle of Rioja and Come I think at a moment's notice. Such dedication. Of course, the fact that you were fucking it must have helped enormously. Sorry, David phoned earlier. He said, could you bring that CD round? Oh, right, thanks. I don't know why I did it. I would have thought that was obvious. No, it's not what you think. I didn't actually enjoy it. I just... Oh, you wouldn't understand. Well, try me. He's your husband of 15 years. I do have a passing interest. I just wanted to be fucked, OK? Because day in, day out, the way you look through me, David, the way you nod your head when I'm talking, I can see in your eyes how bored and disgusted you are by me. Very good, Abigail. Very good. 
You committed adultery, but it's my fault. No, you're twisting things. No, you twist things all the time. You manipulate me. And if you, you hate me so much, why didn't you get rid of me years ago? But I'll tell you why. You're just like me. You are terrified of being alone. You know, at least I admit my weakness, my lack of moral courage. Don't you dare talk to me about moral courage. Oh, I'm sick of your sanctimonious, holier-than-thou attitude, as if you've got a monopoly on all that. It is your martyr complex that has made my life a misery, and your own life a misery. Easy, son. That'll still be there in five minutes, you know. I've got plans. I've got to strengthen up. Don't feel? Come on, tense. I am. It's not bad. It's the size of a grave. Well, girls are supposed to go for the lean size these days. Yeah, why do girls always like boys who look like little Raymond? So is Tommy Squirrel pretty good? I'm so glad you came. You haven't made much of an effort. It'll make tonight a whole lot more special if you just go along with what I want. my back. I've seen you undress before. Many times in my head. <laughs> and here at the, the surgery, you were so sh shy, which always indicates attraction, I think. This isn't a seduction. It's rape. Don't say that. That's, that's not even close. What else is it? When, you, you when you're me, forcing me, all the forcing me to, to have sex against my will. Who have found each other. You got me in your clutches and I can't break free. You're getting to be happy with me. David, I know what you think this is. But it isn't, it's not too late to stop. Deep down, I know that you're a good man, but if you go through this, I don't think you'll... You'll recover, and you must know that I... I haven't given you the slightest indication that oh, the... shit. You invited me in. Oh, David, you're so kind. David, I'm so mixed up. Oh, David, David, David. You think me clever? See things Danny doesn't see. Need me, want me. Define me. Love. Love? You don't know what that is? How could you? Or am I just getting in line behind Zoe and Mark's father? That's none of your business. You have made everything my business. Every detail of your life in an effort to make me want you. Or else why? Why be so nice to me? Because I felt sorry for you. No, there was chemistry, there was attraction. Why else would you come round so often? You seemed lonely, without a friend. Slightly pathetic. Isolated in your marriage. A wife who did little to cover the fact that she was fucking another man. It was pity that really drew me.
You should listen up. This is supposed to be fun. You'll enjoy tonight, Evelyn. I promise. Let me show you how wonderful we could be. <laughs> Just the two. <coughs> Away from this place. I love my husband. <laughs> it's a but that's what it is. Why else do you think that I'm here? You're here because you want to be here. No, because I'm here. Because you find me. To save my marriage. Daddy and I, together despite our mistakes, never reduced to hating because of them, not like you. Blaming everyone around you for your own failings. Married to a woman you don't love, but to you it's her fault and you still don't have the balls to get out. And the rest of your life wasn't me. Didn't bring it upon myself. Angry at this shitty sense of fair play, so what? Get even, settle the score. Doesn't matter that it's not against the people that put you here as long as you feel better about yourself, right? Okay then. Right, let's go. I, I will have sex with you, Dr. York. I can do this because it's ten minutes, ten minutes of bad, uncomfortable sex, and then I'll forget all about it. So where do you want me? On the floor? Up against the wall? On your desk? Come with and fuck me, because I don't want to have to spend a minute longer with you than's necessary. All of our clients get itchy feet after a couple of weeks. It's a classic pattern. Big ATM withdrawal. Yeah, he's more desperate than that. Nicking money from shop tills. And he's been in the library online. 
push chairs. So he's taking my advice. Going to try for a baby. There's nothing suspicious there. But why come to the library to do it? He could have visited these sites at home, unless he's trying to throw us off the scent. Okay. He knows both of you are a bit more than residents, so keep your distance. We'll sit tight. Let him talk himself out of it. He's pretty determined. Makes two of us. Did you see someone? Uh, a little girl. Hey. Come on. Let's get inside. of our dreams, remember? Hmm? When the kids left home, we were gonna sell off, buy a bar out there. Here's your life in the sun. We had a great time there, remember? That was then. Why bring it up now, Danny? Eddie. Yeah. He's back. Back to get us the fuck out of here. <laughs> 